Okay, I'm here with Jason Root from Pioneer. He's our my dad's Pioneer rep. Sometimes he has great patience, but sometimes I think my lack of patience comes from my dad. Um, but we weren't able to get any more trucks today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Hey everybody, day seven of corn harvest. It is a beautiful day, a little bit cooler. We got, we still have got the breeze going. So uh, I think it's gonna be a nice day. There's my vineyard. The first thing we are doing this morning is we are actually harvesting our pioneer plot. So the pioneer rep comes when we're planting and he has some seed that I, well, we're gonna talk to Jason. We're gonna talk to Jason about why they do it and we're gonna see how they harvest. So that's the first thing we're gonna do this morning. Okay, I'm here with Jason Root from Pioneer. He's our my dad's pioneer rep and we are harvesting test plots. Is that what you call them or what do you call them? Test plots, that works. Test plots. So why do you guys plant these test plots? Well, you want to get what a product does locally, not just what data from the Midwest tells us it's going to be. Okay. So when we get new products, we like to put them in as many trials as we can in a year to compare them to see what's going to fit best in a local area. Oh, so that makes sense. So like one corn that might do really great in Minnesota might not do that well here. There's a hybrid in this plot that's all over Twitter and it's going to finish dead last. Here? Yeah, here. Okay, I see. Yeah, because you were just doing some one island over yesterday, you said, right? Yes. And we're gonna get different results than them, you think? You get different results than they will. Okay, based off our soil and stuff like that. So you, I'll show them over here how you, so basically when we did planting, you put eight rows in our planter and yeah. that'd be your variety. Yeah, we split your eight row planter in half and made a complete round in the field. Right. So that you would get eight rows of new product uh -huh. compared to eight rows of your field product. So what's left at now is the field product. Okay, yeah, so you can see we've got eight rows harvested here, and then this is our normal corn here. Okay, so once he harvests the corn, you have a hopper over here that we dump it in. Correct. And why is that? That is how we get a weight, and then I'm able to pull a sample to get a moisture okay. and a test weight on it. Okay. Um, last night we measured the field so we knew how long it was, and we know the width that we're taking so we can calculate the yield and adjust it to 15%. So a lot of math. Yeah, or you can just punch it in the computer and it does it for you. Yes, that's right. I know, and my dad has all those like calculations memorized and I'm like, I gotta write this down, I don't know. Okay, so that helps you be able to know exactly how much weight and then you figure out like bushels per acre. We do tons here, but yes, everyone else does everyone bushels. everyone else does bushels. Do you know why that is? Like why we do tons? Is it just a West Coast thing? Well, there's different areas in California. If you go up north, uh -huh. they measure it by sacks. I have never heard that which before. Is, which is a hundred weight. Oh, So a okay. guy may ask, you know, we may say we're making six and a half ton. Uh-huh. Up north, they're going to say they're making 130 sacks. Oh, wow. Is that like a sack of corn? No, it's, they, <laughs> it's from um, growing uh, dry beans. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't heard that one before. Everyone makes fun of me for calling the grain cart a bank out wagon. I yes. get a lot of flack for that. <laughs> I was like, that's a regional. It's a regional yes. thing, you know?
Okay, we just finished with Pioneer, so we're going back to our regular scheduled harvesting. Sounds like maybe today might be a short day. Um, it is interesting because you talk to people that um, work in different areas that it's just like no days off type of deal, which is not healthy. Um, but like our trucks here only kind of do like half days on Saturdays. And maybe it's because we don't grow that much corn. Like we do grow corn out here, but it's nothing compared to other places. So maybe that's why it's like that. So we might only get three trucks today and we've been doing about six on the few days that we've been able to do full days. So we'll see where we get. All right, we are actually almost done with this field. My dad is doing a pass right there. And we just have one pass right there left and this field will be done. There is one more field on this farm, but we're actually gonna be saving that um, for another day. So after we finish this field, we're gonna be heading to um, our other landlords and we're gonna open it up a little bit, even though it looks like we're not gonna be getting any more trucks today. We'll just have him dump in my bank out wagon and we should have a truck on Monday. You know, I really don't think I'm gonna drive the harvester this year. Um, I got to do that a little bit last year, but I just realized when he was doing the Pioneer plot, that was probably my time to like ride in the harvester. I mean, I rode in the harvester with him because first min couple minutes that first day, which wasn't even really what I called day one. So I'm not really gonna get to ride the harvester at all. I know I'm still just like a little kid. Probably because I don't have to sit in it 12 hours a day. <laughs> All right, we just finished up here. So my dad's moving the harvester. I'm gonna take my pickup and we're gonna go pick him up. And then he's gonna bring me back to my tractor and he'll drive his pickup over there. So we'll have one pickup over there, my tractor and the harvester. So we started harvesting this little corner because he said he might wanna bring the disc over here to disc, there's a little spot at Johnson grass. Um, I guess the headland, I don't know what he's doing. I thought we were gonna go get my bank out wagon and then he was gonna harvest. So he either decided that he's just gonna harvest this and shut it off, or he just has no patience and had to start harvesting now. Sometimes he has great patience, but sometimes I think my lack of patience comes from my dad. All right, since we're gonna move a ways, I am going to put my auger down. You guys can see it down there. Folds back nice. The nice part here is there's this like little short piece of road we go over, like literally just like a little, little piece. And then other than that, we're able to drive through field the whole time to get there. So that's the safest for us. I guess he must be done because he's parking the harvester. I assume he's going to unload into the bank out wagon before he parks. I don't know what this guy's doing. So we're moved. We're moved to the next farm. Uh, but we weren't able to get any more trucks today. So my dad, I know, just cut a couple headlands. Just one hopper's worth. He's going to put it in my bank out wagon. And then I'm assuming we're going to be done for today. I'm actually looking forward to because I have a lot I need to do at home with my chickens. So it'd be nice to have some time to actually do that. It's only about 2.30. Okay. All right, just got home. So obviously that was um, it for today. 
We weren't able to get any more trucks. And even though that's kind of a bummer because you know, we just want to get corn harvest done. I'm not sad about getting home early. And tomorrow's Sunday. I had plans to do a field trip that ended up getting postponed. And even though I'm kind of bummed, I'm also like, it's kind of nice because I need to do a lot with the chickens and just stuff at home in general. You know, AJ's in school right now, um, medical school. So he's super busy and I've been working really long days. So it's going to be nice to have a day and a half to actually take care of the chickens and do some things I need to do. Um, so if you guys are enjoying the corn harvest series, remember to hit that thumbs up button. It means so much to me and I'll catch you guys later.